Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here. Welcome, welcome back. I'm back, you're back, we're back. What? We're back at Epcot, it's food and wine. And it's been a long time since I've been here because all of this was still here when I was here last. And now it's almost all gone and they're starting to rebuild Epcot uh, as we will know it for the future. But today is the first day, the first day of food and wine. So we're gonna go in, probably just check out the booth, maybe grab a couple bites to eat and uh, see who we run into. So uh, let's get inside. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, manténganse alejado de la puerta. Guys, we've made it to the festival entryway and usually right here, like right behind me, is a ton of festival gear and on the other side as well. It just doesn't look like there's a ton there, so we aren't going to really address that today uh, unless we end up in probably the festival center where there's going to be a lot more of that gear. But let's address something else today. Today is the first day, the first, of Galaxy's Edge as well. So if you were here at Walt Disney World, would you have A? went to Galaxy's Edge, battled that craziness, which I've seen photos of this morning, and that's just, wow. Would you be, have just went to Food & Wine opening day, which if you can tell, like, it's kind of being sparsely attended. Uh, definitely plenty of walking room at Epcot today. I feel like everybody's at Hollywood Studios. Or would you have took it, taken, would you have taken option C, and went to both, like woke up, went did that, and then come over to food and wine after the fact. Tell me down below in the comments which option you would have taken. So, as we walk in to the World Showcase, monorail shot! Uh, which way do you go, left, right? Do you go to Canada? Do you go to Mexico? Today, I think we're headed towards Canada first. And I'm already noticing that there's certain things missing. Uh, there's usually a booth right behind me there that is, is just gone. So uh, it looks like they're uh, filming something over here. So, But we are gonna go on in. We're gonna start looking at the booths and make our way around the World Showcase. And somehow, I've made it past the first four or five booths there without grabbing a bite to eat, even though I did pass up on some festival favorites. Right there at Canada, that uh, the filet mignon, the cheddar soup, festival favorites. Even though last year, I think there was a few complaints that things were getting a little bit smaller. Um, as well, the booth that I thought was missing, the Hawaii booth, is now just around the corner there. So that short rib or the pork slider actually not short rib it's a pork slider that everybody loves is still here and last but not least simmering ships simmering ships how about simmering sips easy for me to say right that has moved from the festival center this year over here with all of those mimosas mama mimosas uh that were so tasty last year so i feel like there is a few less booths here this year though so a few less, yeah. I feel like there are a few less booths here this year, so let's keep going. Next up is Ireland, and I did a total review over Ireland last year. I don't think these roasted Irish sausages uh, were on that menu last year, but the warm Irish cheddar and stout dip was there, as well as the warm chocolate pudding. And last but not least, that Guinness Bailey shake that was such a favorite last year. I will plug that review up in the corner as I don't remember everything I reviewed, but I remember I actually 
did recommend the Ireland booth last year. So we've made it halfway around before deciding on something to eat. Have you decided on something to eat? Any of those booths catch your attention? Any of those things on those menus say, hey, that's what I want to eat? Well, Japan. Japan's gonna be the first place we stop to eat today. I'm gonna get that cold pressed ramen. Actually, I already have got that cold pressed ramen and it was delish, the broth was good. And fortunately, it's cold pressed, so guess what? It's not, you don't have the heat, the warmth, because it's really hot out here today as well. So you wouldn't want that uh, on top of all the heat and everything. So definitely I'm recommending that cold pressed ramen here at Japan. Let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. So we have made our way, what, past like four or five more booths. We made our way past America, which is mostly barbecue, and I've always been subject to stay away from it. Outside of the lobster roll there, I will recommend the lobster roll, love it. Usually it's just not enough lobster for the price, I will say that, but I probably will probably will eat that sometime during the festival. Uh, next, I always steer clear of Italy. It just never delivers. Usually the cheese seems a little coagulated and it's just not the way to go there. Uh, Spain, the paella. The paella was my one of my favorite dishes from last year's food and wine. And this year it just kind of missed a little bit. It was good, but not great. So I did stop and eat the paella. Uh, as you see, we passed Germany and we passed Africa. I'll tell you what, the peri-peri shrimp skewer thing looks legit. And it will definitely be on my list for a future trip here. So we'll definitely have to try to give that a try as we continue our way around the world. So as we continue our way around the world, there is India. And I'm sure that warm Indian bread is very much like the bread service over at Sanaa. Also curry, korma chicken. Most of this menu is calling my name, even though right now my stomach is a little bit full. So let's go on to China. So as we go past China and into the Alps here, brand new booth for 2019 here in Elsa country, as I'd like to call it. But uh, you got the warm Swiss cheese, you got the venison stew, blueberry almond. Yeah, can't say that word, tart. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like before. Probably not what it looks like right now, but uh, here in the Alps, brand new for 2019.
Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. We have made our way completely around World Showcase. I am a little dragon, I'm a little tired, and what's gonna happen is there's an Active Eats area and there's like the chocolate studios and all that stuff. I'm gonna make a second video probably up next week uh, going around those areas and checking it out. Maybe we'll just go ahead and eat our way through those areas. I know we did that last year, so there's a good chance we do it again this year. If you've liked this video, guys, make sure to hit that like button. If this is your first time here, join the friends, join the family, join the masses. Hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you saw anything you really wanted to eat, let me know down in the comments. Until next time, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for your time. Here's to life.